Wild On's first host was the lovely and talented Jules Asner. She had the looks of the girl next door. She was a reporter for E! News Daily, and when opportunity came knocking, well, she was in the right place at the right time. Kind of how it all, the whole Wild On thing came about was we had Eleanor Mondale here, who hosted several travel specials called Sex On, and she went to several different places. And Eleanor left, and just kind of on short notice, they needed somebody to go on a trip. And I always say, I had a passport, I had a bikini, and I think that's why they asked me if I would go and do it. And I had no idea it would lead to everything that happened. For the next two years, Jules took viewers to some of the wildest places on the planet. Oh, very good time, I must say. Oh, well, sounds like a date, maybe in my future. Um, I'm taking any minute I can as rest. People always come up to me and they have favorite shows and they have destinations. And I think most people always talk about Ibiza. They talk about the phone party. They don't realize that was at 7 a.m. in Ibiza. People think I stay up all night, but actually what happened was we went back to the hotel and went to sleep. And we set our alarm for at 6 a.m. and went out to the club. So it looks like we've been up all night, but really I was just getting up and all those other kids were the ones that had been out all night. As her travels intensified, Jules soon learned that besides bringing a toothbrush, one should always pack a sense of humor. <laughs> People also always ask me about the Key West trip. Um, we went down there for Fright Night, uh, and I was up parasailing and was swearing a lot. <laughs> it's getting really windy! It seems to be enjoying it. Oh! I'm not kidding! And people are like, that was so funny. And I go, yeah, I was really mad. I still talk about that. I'm still, you know, mad about that. And when she wasn't tied to a parasail, Jules was sampling world cuisine. I've never been an adventuresome eater. I've never been that uh, crazy when it comes to food. And that was one of the great things about hosting Wild On, though, was that I had to test my barriers. Okay, we're going to go with the whipped sapling. Close is up! People always talk about when we were in the Bahamas and I ate the conch. Which I later found out was an aphrodisiac. Nobody told me that, that I slurped it up the way I did. The wild times came to an end when the globe hopping eventually took its toll. I love doing wild on, but it just kind of became so crazy after doing it for about 18 months. And we were trying to do so many shows back to back, and I just got tired. Yeah, I miss being home, I miss my friends and kind of being a normal routine because I would end up being gone for about 20 days a month. And I originally started the news and I missed doing all the celebrity interviews and the opportunity kind of came up. And they said, you know, do you want to come and do interviews with, with Steve? And I was just, yeah. And while Jules now spends her time covering the latest happenings in the world of entertainment, she's still recognized by her Wild On fans. Now everywhere I go, girls like flash me. And... <laughs> Guys are like, Jules, flash us! And I'm, I, I don't know. <laughs> Somehow I think people think of me as dancing on tables or this kind of crazy girl. So, um, it's funny. It's very funny. But even with the long hours, the jet lag, and the monkey business, Jules looks back fun. Doing Wild On, you know, has to be one of the best things that I've ever done, career-wise or personally. I was very kind of set in my ways. I kind of was a creature of habit, and it really made me get out there and do things and just kind of go with it. Be a little less uptight. All the experiences when I look back on them, I mean, I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it was me. I can't even believe that I really got the chance to do all of this stuff. He pretty much paid me to have a good time for two years. Pretty good job. Okay. okay.